Hey Internet, I'm Chaz. And I'm Dan, and welcome to Wine of Serious Business, episode 37. As you can see, we've got a guest here again today, and we're really excited. It's been a little while since we've had a guest. This is Lisa Bates, uh, the inventor of Torkscrew, and uh, just a friend from the community, someone that I met at a, at a wine dinner recently, and that, that hangs out and drinks wine with us from time to time. So, uh, really excited to share her invention with you, and uh, drink some good wine today. Um, since the invention is used to open the wine, uh, we'll jump right into the talk about that. So tell us a little bit about what it is and why you made it. Well, it's actually called the Torx Screw, and um, what it is for is it brings the celebration back to opening wines that are screw cap. Although it does open every other kind of cap, you know, it does the cork and it does the um, the crown caps as well. But this actually gets rid of all the clutter, so you don't have to have a multiple. Um, gadgets in your kitchen and it uh, also opens champagne so and it's beautiful it comes in lots of colors so it's kind of a great thing to have around kind of a Swiss army knife of wine openers it's just you know yes <laughs> nice. exactly <laughs> exactly yeah. it dices it slices there you but go. yes there you go yeah so let's uh, let's give it a try we've got That's some great. sparkling wine right here this is the Domaine Michel Jouillot, again, apologies to those who actually speak French I think you did a pretty good job Do you speak French? Uh, no okay okay we oui. No, oh. <laughs> but uh, but but I've been a fan of, of his his uh, white wine from Mercure for a while. This is the first time I've ever seen the sparkling wine, so I had to, I, I had to check it out. I thought it'd be a perfect time. Um, so uh, so Lisa's agreed to let us give the give the torque screw a try. I've never used it on champagne before, so uh, there we'll, you let's, are. we'll see if it works out. Okay, go go for it. Okay, so Firmly sit on there, there and just rock it. Kind of like when you're grabbing it. Yes, exactly. You might get it. Whoa! Oh, there it is. Okay. There you go. Yeah. And look at we have all our eyes. <laughs> My mom always said, "Don't look at it. But poke your eye out." Well, there you are. Yeah. Right. I think everybody's afraid of killing somebody when you're the bottle. Or sure. not gonna light out. Yeah. Exactly. Oh man, I'm gonna need a rinse already. I was yeah, you're gonna have to drink that beforehand. That's that's cool. That's cool. Well, Dan's got, got a dirty okay. glass. Cheers. Yeah. As they say in Italy, chin chin. Yeah. What's your favorite well, sparkling wine? Yeah. Yeah. You like sparkling wine? I do. I actually, I haven't met a wine I don't like. So mm. there you go. Good deal. Wow. You've wow. never met a wine you don't mm -mm. like. Mm -mm. We'll have you to have a bottle of wine. Like. Yeah. Not so I think, much. I think we could do that. We'll for get a you a bottle of the 7-Eleven Cabernet. See, yeah. think okay. You know, it serves its purpose. Attempting, attempting to find a wine that Lisa doesn't like. Cooking. Well, that's a good thing. That, that would be a fun. You can have me on again. And I will say, I'll say yes to anything. That's why right. I'm like, this yeah. is delicious. This actually is very good. That smells really nice. Sort of got like a nutty component to it. Yeah, apples. Yeah. Little, wow, yeah. The nutty, a little bit like a walnut, a walnut or hazelnut, yeah. It's very clean. It is, isn't it? We're going to get to that. Some of them are too sweet. This is actually very, very nice. Yeah, and not super dry. This doesn't rip your mouth, mouth apart dry. It's got mm -hmm. some nice acid mm -hmm. and, uh, and, you know, a little... Little you know yeasty flavors going on there, but it's pretty pretty enjoyable. That is yeah, the really so, good. The sort of like crushed up aspirin thing kind of comes in a little strong in the mid palate, mm. like a crushed up like you shoot up an aspirin, but uh, it's nice. It doesn't like take over the entire palate. Ends really cleanly, exactly what you guys are saying. Well, when you say chew up an aspirin, that doesn't exactly go <laughs> the thoughts to me like, but it's really right. But it's like a sort of medicinal flavor on the, on the mid palate, at least to me. Oh, I think it's delicious. That's very mm -hmm. nice, actually. Yeah, and, yeah, enjoyable drink. Really and a pretty label, and that's important. Yeah, the apples and <laughs> that's, yeah. that's good. It's that's fantastic, pretty actually. But the acidity is real nice throughout the entire palate. Balanced and clean. Yeah, rock solid. Yeah. Good French Very stuff. Very nice. Uh, 80, 88 plus for me. Yeah, 88 points for me, too. It's like it's hard to steer away from that, but it's delicious. I mean, how much was it? Um, I was just gonna ask that. Yeah, I, you know, I I want to say I, I want to say just under thirty bucks, but I, I might I might be I might be incorrect, but for no. you know, but for French sparkling wine, that's that's pretty solid. And again, it's a really good producer. Spark on. Yeah, exactly. So, Absolutely. yeah, reasonable price. Um, next, we're on to some German Riesling. You all know how I love that, and uh, and we'll give give uh, Chaz a chance to open this. Okay, one. see if I can do it. Come on, Chaz. All right, remember turn. Left and loosey, righty tighty. Yeah. There you go. Don't hold on to that part. There you go. You did it. Beautiful. Yeah. It gives you a total, like, more of a handhold on it. Right. For sure. It's nice. But it also brings, it gives you a chance to come to the table when you're having dinner guests or even as if you were a waiter and use it and have a ceremony like they do when they open the wine for you. Good point. And certainly you're not going to be sniffing the, 
the cap. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know? that, yeah, exactly. But That's... it houses the cap so that it can sit there and you don't really notice it. Good point. So and you're I'm... celebrating the wine. You're not worrying about, you know, what it, what container it came right. in. Right. And I wanted to mention that, that one of my friends who, who uh, what was in the industry for a while said that something like that for screw caps would be cool, that it would be nice to have a tool to do that table side. So Great. Yeah. Great, Some great, great. Back here. Give them oh, a call. It's going to be good. You always wow. have just 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 a rinse there. Just, yeah, just drink it down. Yeah. Drink it down. I'm with the boys, folks. Mm. Tequila's next. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We yeah. Tequila's <laughs> serious <laughs> business. That's a, that'd be an interesting show. I you think. know, I, I was going to do a book called Tequila Faces. The faces no. of tequila instead of faces of meth. No. <laughs> <laughs> because who can drink tequila with a straight face? We will that? definitely have you back on the show <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if that book comes out. That'd be a good time. <laughs> but you have to be in the book. <laughs> I can, we yeah, do, we do. I've got yeah. a ton of pictures before and after. So I can probably swing that one. <laughs> can you? All right. All right. All right. Let's, go ahead and, let's go ahead and try some wine. So this is some, some German wine from the Rheingau. Normally I drink from the Mosul. Um, this is this you know a little warmer, typically a little more apricot flavors. But I had this at a tasting recently. Was super impressed. So I'm really excited to share this with some people and share it with you guys. Yeah. I mean, definitely the sweetness is coming through a lot, quite a bit, but it's like. Really nice apple flavors. What would this be a good like food-wise? Pairing. Ooh, good right now. Curry. <laughs> Have you ever had a curry? That. It's awesome. Absolutely. It's like my favorite combination ever mm. is Thai curry and a good sweet reason like a cabinet or a spice. That's spicy level. curry, not the, yeah, not spicy the coconut one. No, a little, little bit one. spicy. Yeah, absolutely. Like in a medium, medium to mild range. Yeah. You know how they do it. What are you guys doing do for it. dinner? I say we head on to the right. I could probably be convinced. <laughs> yeah. And then this is Schmeidlis level. I'm not going to try and pronounce the producer because it's another bigger name. And, and I'll just I'll just have it written up down below. You'll see it. Um, but uh, but but solid stuff. I'm getting like full on apple peels oh, on the nose, like kind good. of earthy texture on the nose, along with you know the hint of sweetness. Super yeah, it's clean. not super sweet. It's not the kind that's sickening. Right. And I'm not a big Riesling fan usually. But this, this I would, I would drink honestly. This is good. And I usually like my wine really, really cold. Sorry, sometimes I use ice cubes, but most times not. And I understand we drink wine too cold, white wine too cold, and our yeah, uh, wine is too warm. But this is a perfect temperature. I mean, this is really, really nice. Awesome. I'm impressed. Well, I, I'm glad you like it. What you just said is one of my fa most favorite things to hear when people are like, yep, I've never liked this Riesling too much. Lovely. It's too sweet. It's saccharine. Smooth. It drives me crazy. Yeah, it's complex. It's, it's got some minerality. What are you good. talking on price point on this one as well? Um, just under 30 also. Right. Nice. And But it just nails it. I mean, there, there's, there's the apple flavors right away, and the sweetness hits on the side of my palate later, just a couple seconds later, so there's this little bit of evolution. Cleans right out. Got a little bit of honeycomb kind of on the back of my mouth. Wonderful, wonderful wine. Uh, Absolutely. 91 points for me. Mm, Dang, wow. no one high. 90 yeah. points. 90 <laughs> points. <laughs> one it, it's still really, really good. <laughs> it's, it's delicious. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it, <laughs> the acidity really, really cleans out the, the sweetness of the wine. Fantastic. And there's delicious flavors going on throughout the entire experience. It's awesome. Mm. Very good wine. Brilliant. Good wine. job, Dan. I, hey, yeah. I, Dan pulled the wines for this show, so. I, I love yeah, sharing good, good reasoning. Job. I love sharing good reasoning with people. Ah, and, it's uh, really delicate. It's like now I'm like, mmm. You, and you want more, right? Like yeah. this, well, this yes, I do. I thought you'd never ask. 